causes of hip pain, people have a hard time differentiating between, well, is it coming from my hip or is it coming from my sacroiliac joint? Uh, they both refer pain to the front of the leg. That can kind of cause a misunderstanding as far as where the pain's actually coming from. The biggest source of hip pain is osteoarthritis when there's a degeneration of that cartilage around either the femur here as well as the lining of the socket. As that degeneration occurs, there's more bone on bone rubbing here which causes a lot of friction and then will cause pain. If you fall and actually break your hip, that will definitely cause pain and as we get older and um, you lose balance and you fall, it's common to see the geriatric patient population fall and fracture their hip. And that's also due to sometimes with osteoporosis when there's not a lot of dense bone there anymore, it's just easier to fracture. Also tendonitis, with some of these muscles that cross the hip here, especially in the front, the tendons which attach this muscle to the bone of the femur will get irritated and inflamed and that will cause a tendonitis, which is more like an overuse injury. So that will also cause pain in the front of the thigh. The causes of sacroiliac joint pain. Um, usually it's a trauma, um, sports injury. Um, it could be running long term. So as we run, we're putting a lot of impact through our joints. So it can become from overuse. And then also pregnancy is pretty common uh, with pregnancy in women. The ligaments that surround the joints and areas there become lax. And because of that laxity, that will cause significant pain in that joint and also refer pain to those patterns. What does physical therapy do? So physical therapy, because we are experts in how the body moves and we know the anatomy of the body, we can also perform special tests during an evaluation with the patient to determine you know, where is that pain actually coming from. And so based on those findings, we will be able to give the patient a better idea about the treatment plan and what things we need to do to address those things. Lots of times with just physical therapy alone, we can significantly alleviate or reduce the pain that you're having and prevent any other forms of intervention from occurring in the future. We can educate you on the proper exercises and proper stretching techniques that you would need to do to handle this on your own at home. We are able to determine whether we think physical therapy alone will also help. So sometimes further intervention is needed and we would be able to tell you during your physical therapy plan of care, during all the treatment time, whether or not you would need to seek alternative forms of treatment. But most of the time, if you go to an orthopedist, they'll send you to physical therapy anyway. If you don't handle something like this, it can definitely become more serious, um, especially with the hip itself, because that is one of our biggest movement joints in our body. So if you do not address the pain and increase the strength around the joint, then the friction between the femur bone and your hip bone will continue and you will become bone on bone and then at that point there's no other intervention besides usually a total hip replacement. Um, usually replacements are done as a last resort so that's why physical therapy is very beneficial because we can strengthen the muscles around the joint, give the joint more support which will alleviate the pain and improve your function and kind of push off that possibility of a hip replacement further and further away until it's absolutely necessary. Also, if not handled, you're going to lose functions. You're not going to be able to do the things you enjoy with family members, traveling, uh, prolonged sitting positions are usually problematic with a sacroiliac joint pain. Um, sit sitting in that position causes that friction between that piece of cartilage that's there and it becomes very uncomfortable over time. So that will limit your travel ability. So like I said, the need for less conservative treatment such as injections and possibly surgery will occur if you do not handle this right away. If you would be interested in learning more about your pain, please click on the link below and set up an evaluation with us.